Hey, what's up everybody out there on YouTube? Uh, my name is Evan and I'm a DJ here in Albuquerque, New Mexico. And uh, I'm a longtime user of this program called Serato. And I'm sure a lot of you also use Serato. But I wanted to uh, cue you guys in on a little tip for if you want to reinstall Windows on your computer that has Serato and you don't necessarily want to have to go through the whole um, relocate lost files feature. I'm going to show you a way to do that. So like you can clean out your hard drive. I do this like once a year where I clean out my hard drive completely and uh, I just put a new fresh install of Serato on there. Um, I do that just on regular, like every year, just to make sure everything is running nice and smooth. Well, I'm going to show you how to do that so you don't have to go through that big relocate lost files feature. Uh, you know, because like, I, I'm sure you guys have seen that before where your file might turn like uh, like an orange color when you try to play it. And it'll say file not found. Um, and according to Serato, it says... Uh, whenever you change the location of a song or rename a folder, Serato DJ will lose the connection to the music, resulting in it appearing red in your library. So you can't play that track. So let me show you guys something really important. The most important thing is you'll come over here, you know, to your, uh, you'll want to right click right here on this taskbar. It's in Serato and it'll open up these options. And what you want to do is you come down to this one that says location. I'm going to uncheck it, but I'm going to show you how it works real quick by checking it again. Come down to location, check that box, and then come over here and see where the path is. Okay, in my case, uh, all my files for music are going to be located. Let's see right here and the most important part is where it says touch laptop like this particular laptop is a touch screen laptop and that's how i know what it is so it says cpath users touch laptop music and then it says music 72520 okay so that's where all my music is stored and everything is playable right before i'm getting ready to go ahead and uh you know rearrange my computer and stuff so I can bring this over here and it's playable, right? So you can see that's playable. Uh, so I'm gonna show you guys now how this, how I transfer all my files real quick. So I'm gonna go ahead and close out Serato. Oh, by the way, if you, if you wanted to use that feature, you could come over here to files and then here's that locate lost files and then you can go through that process. But I'm going to try to show you how to do that without having to go through that process because it's a, it's a long process. Okay, so let's close this guy up. It says, are you sure? All right, so after that, what you want to do is what I have is like I store my music on one of these right here. So it's a USB to a connection that'll allow me to plug in an SSD. Like, you know, like this is a 500 gig. And I'll probably get a, a one terabyte gig here in the future pretty soon. But yeah, this will allow you to actually plug in a really large hard drive into a computer through USB. All right, so come over here now I have multiple areas on this uh, on this hard drive that store multiple settings of computers for Serato in other words I have Serato on multiple computers and so I'm able to save all those files onto that hard drive right so I open up Explorer Let's look at Explorer here real quick. All right, so uh, 
like most people do, I store all my music in this folder right here or this icon, right? This music icon. And if that's not showing up, like this music icon right here, if that doesn't show up, you can actually um, look into uh, putting that into this menu, right? So I'm gonna click, and, and you just gotta look that up on how to how to put that in there. Click on music, and you, you guys are probably familiar with this. It says Serato, and then Serato backup, and then it says music 72520, which is the folder that has all my music in it, right? So in other words, these are the, the files that tell Serato my settings and what I want, right? And my crates and everything. And then this is the large file that has all of my, you know, it has 167 gigs, right? So what I want to do here is I'm just going to take all these. Actually, I'm going to come over here into Music E which is that hard drive, that external hard drive. Okay. And I'm gonna right click. And we'll come down here and I'm gonna put... All right guys, so sorry about that. I had a little glitch there. So yeah, so, uh, you know, within that, that hard drive, that external hard drive, you have music like in my case, I have music, but then I have like my main uh, mu uh, laptop that I use for playing out. And this laptop here, the touch laptop is the one that I use for playing um, at home and on Twitch and stuff like that. And, you know, it's slightly different, like the setup is slightly different. I'm using turntables on that. So, so this is that external hard drive and I, I'm creating a brand new folder in there. What I want to do is I want to call it touch. Lap. Top. I mean, that's what I'm going to name that folder. Okay. And that's kind of important. It's, it's not as important in this case, to name it that, but it, it is an important thing to actually name whatever whatever you're gonna be putting all of your music files into for that particular computer, you're gonna put them all into this that folder that you just created, okay? So touch laptop, and then I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna go to music, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all this, right? And then I'm going to take all this here and I'm going to move it down to where it says touch laptop. All right. So it's going to take a long time to copy all these files, right? It's going to take a long time. So I'll be back in just a little while. Just go ahead and let it all copy onto your hard drive, that external hard drive here, you know? All right, and then we'll be back in just a moment. All right, guys, uh, so we're back and uh, I'm in the process now of doing a fresh install of Windows. In this case, I'm just doing Windows 10. Uh, I believe it's Pro, but yeah, I mean, it, it's super easy to reinstall Windows. You just have to make sure you have the USB. Like the, right here is the USB drive that I use to install Windows. So you just go through that entire process. That's a, you'll probably have to watch a, a video on how to make that USB drive and how to make sure your computer goes to that drive for BIOS depending on the kind of computer you have, I have an HP, so I just press escape and then F9 to get there. But <clears throat> you wanna get to this point here and you'll see that it says drive zero unallocated space. And so you'll continue on. Let's go over here to next. Okay, cool. 
and then it's going to go through the process of installing a new uh, version or a new uh, installation of of Windows. Okay, and we'll be back in just a moment for that when that finishes. Okay, so eventually, guys, you're going to get to this screen right here. Uh, and it's going to say, who's going to use this PC? And basically, it's just, it's trying to find out the username. Okay, now remember back when we were looking at the location of our files. Well, after the C prompt, right, it had the name of the PC. Right, and remember, the name of the PC we had was Touch Laptop, right? So when you're at this screen right here, you want to just name this computer, right? Or name the user, right, as Touch Laptop. Right, like in my case, it might be different from yours though, right? That that name might be different from yours. All you gotta do is just make sure that you put in that information and that it's exactly um, what was in the original location path, if you if you catch my meaning. So go back and look at that point where you had that path after the C prompt and make sure you put in the name of the computer, the same name, you have to use it. This is the most important part of this process. And then you go ahead and, and press next or click next. All right, so as far as passwords go, you can, you can put in a password, but you don't necessarily have to. And then I'll catch you in just a little while to finish up. All right, guys, so here we go. Here's a fresh new install of Serato, right? All fresh new, brand new install on uh, the freshly installed Windows 10 that I just did a little while ago. Okay, so Serato DJ Pro, and uh, this is the newest version. So, okay, so generally what I do, or what I do, <laughs> is I do the install um, of Serato after I do all the Windows updates and all that kind of stuff that's required in Windows. I do recommend actually doing all the, the Windows updates before you do the Serato install just to make sure that your computer is running optimally and that it has all the drivers it needs, right? But yeah, back to focusing on this portion right here, right? With a new install, you're not going to generally have any music in there at all. Uh, and okay, so what I'm going to show you now is how we're going to be able to just upload all the music and information from our previous up uh, our previously installed Serato that had all the information in it and uh and we're going to go from there, okay? Okay, so the first place I'm going to go is going to be right here. Okay, this is going to be uh, Windows Explorer. So I'm going to open that up. And in Windows Explorer, under Music, you'll have these crates right here. These are the default crates that come with that new version, a uh, new install version of Serato. So we're going to select these crates here, and we're just going to delete them. We're just going to kick them out right away. Okay, so delete those. All right, and then we can close this guy up. And then at this point, we're just going to reattach our hard drive. Okay, hard drive here. Just going to reattach it. start up all right then it, you know like it'll ask you like what it wants to do I usually just exit out of that 
Okay, so now we're, we're gonna come over here. We're gonna go ahead and click on our Explorer one more time. Brings it up. And in this case, now we have music on our D drive. Remember, we're gonna look in to touch laptop and your, your name is gonna be different, right? I'm gonna select all these files. Okay. We're gonna put them in this music folder, right? So that's gonna take some time to complete and we'll be back with some more information in a little while. All right, guys. So, you know, once you go ahead and install all those files, right, like I did here, right, under music, so you installed all those files, okay. You, you just gotta remember, make sure you take out the Serato and the Serato backup files before you do this. You know, just get rid of them. That way it doesn't say, oh, would you like to replace and that kind of stuff, just get rid of them. Uh, but yeah, so those are the files that I had originally on this computer that I put on that hard drive and then I uploaded them here. <clears throat> and the biggest key, the biggest key to all this is to make sure that you rename your computer under that path, touch laptop, touch laptop. And see, now I don't have to go through the process of relocating files. All these files work. See? They work. Perfectly. Cool. And yeah, I go all the way to the other end, and they work. See? Nothing is orange. So, uh, so yeah, I'm, you know, I don't know. I, I would figure something like this would work on Mac as well. Uh, you know, so you Mac users out there, you might want to try this out, see what you think and see if that might uh, work for you. I mean, I'm not sure uh, if it works on Mac, but yeah, it works great on this computer here and all the other computers that I have that run Serato. And um, I don't know if you guys have any questions or anything like that, but I hope this really helps you guys out. And, and uh, yeah, have a good day. That's about it, I guess.